opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. e5 is a common response that establishes a presence in the center, controls d4, and opens up the queen and dark squared bishop. nf3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the e5 pawn, and prepares to castle. nc6 develops the knight toward the center, protects the pawn on e5, and eyes the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. B5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. Bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. D6 defends the e5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. C3 prepares the d2-d4 pawn break and clears the c2 square for the light squared bishop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 prevents black from developing the light squared bishop to g4, which would pin the knight and make it hard for white to play d4. Na5 attacks the bishop and allows black to play the c5 pawn push. Bc2 retreats the bishop and supports the e4 pawn. C5 takes space on the queen side and controls the d4 square. D4 takes space in the center, attacks the e5 and c5 pawns and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Qc7 develops the queen, protects the c5 and d6 pawns and opens up the d8 square. Nbd2 develops the knight toward the center and supports the e4 pawn as well as the knight on f3. Cxd4 captures the pawn opens the c-file and attacks the c3 pawn. cxd4 recaptures the pawn while maintaining the strong center. This threatens to win a pawn. The pawn is now adequately defended. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This kicks an opposing knight. This moves the knight to safety. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. This is a fair move. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This reveals an attack on a bishop. It is excellent. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This threatens to attack a trapped rook. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the rook to safety. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is excellent. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This moves the rook to safety. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the knight to safety. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. 
This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. The pawn is now adequately defended. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This move puts the pawn on a safer square. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This reveals an attack on a rook. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is best. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is best. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is excellent. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This gives away a free pawn. It is a mistake. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to pin a bishop to the king. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a bishop. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a free pawn. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a miss. This pins a bishop to the king. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This is the way to win a bishop. It is best. This removes the attacking bishop. It is best. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This further threatens the already pinned bishop by bringing in another attacker. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is excellent. That bishop was free for the taking. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is forced. 
This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of.